Never put mustard in the fridge. Here's what happens. Does it need to be refrigerated? Many foods and drinks must be refrigerated to keep from spoiling, such as meat and dairy products. But you may have things in your refrigerator that shouldn't be refrigerated. Your refrigerator is dark and cool, which isn't a hospitable environment for certain food items and beverages. The USDA has a list of food items that shouldn't be refrigerated, and it may be time to go through your refrigerator and make room in the pantry. Apples Some people keep their apples in the fridge because they like cold apples, and others keep apples in the refrigerator because they think they have to. Apples actually don't have to be refrigerated, and you should store them at room temperature. They can stay fresh for a week or two at room temperature, but will spoil quickly in the fridge and get mealy quickly. In addition, if you put apples in the refrigerator with other fruits, the apples will release a natural gas that causes the other fruits to ripen and spoil faster. Finally, the apples' enzymes are more active at room temperature and more nutritious when they aren't refrigerated. It's best to keep apples in a colander to provide air to the apples at the bottom and keep them out of the fridge. Cucumbers Many people keep their cucumbers in the refrigerators crisper to help them last, but cucumbers shouldn't be refrigerated. When they get cold, the cucumbers can get waterlogged and lose a lot of their flavor. The supermarket where you bought the cucumbers keeps them out and they're not refrigerated, and you should do the same. It's best to keep the cucumbers on the counter or in the pantry, but don't forget about them. The last thing you want is to find a mushy, rotten cucumber in the pantry. If you prefer cold cucumbers, cut them up and put them in the fridge for a few minutes and then enjoy it. Ketchup Most people grew up putting ketchup in the fridge and still do it today because that's what their parents did. If you're one of these people, take the ketchup out of the refrigerator and put it in the pantry because refrigeration isn't necessary. Have you ever gone out to eat and saw a bottle of ketchup on every table? Restaurants do this because they understand that ketchup shouldn't be refrigerated and they don't take them from the tables and put them in the fridge before closing. Refrigerating the ketchup can cause mold growth, and because it's loaded with preservatives, it can last a really long time at room temperature. Also, you won't find mold when putting it on your burgers. Garlic Garlic doesn't need to be refrigerated, and keeping it in the fridge will negatively affect it. Refrigerating the garlic will cause it to become rubbery, and it can start to sprout. The garlic will look normal until you cut into it and see green, tiny sprouts. It's best to keep garlic in a specialized jar. If you don't have one, putting them in a pair of breathable pantyhose will work. You can store garlic in the freezer for future use, but you must peel it first. Pickles Pickles are loaded with natural preservatives, such as vinegar and salt, so they don't need to be refrigerated. Pickles can last for three years at room temperature, even if they're open. Storing the pickles in the pantry will save space in your fridge, which most people need, and sweet and sour pickles can be stored at room temperature. If you like your pickles cold, you can put them in the fridge for a few minutes before eating them. Hot sauce All kinds of hot sauce have a long shelf life and don't need to be kept in the fridge. Hot sauce contains natural preservatives like vinegar and doesn't contain many actual fruits and vegetables. Also, storing hot sauce in the refrigerator can promote mold growth. It's best to keep the hot sauce in a cool, dark place like the pantry or cabinet. If you love hot sauce and use it all the time, you can keep it on the table so it's always close at hand. Mustard It would help if you never put mustard in the fridge. Here's what happens. Like ketchup, mustard can last longer outside the refrigerator than in. It contains a natural acid that works as a preservative and can last a long time if you keep it in the cupboard. Not only will this extend the life of the mustard, but you'll also have more room for items that must be refrigerated. Eggs In some countries, eggs aren't refrigerated at the grocery store and in people's homes, such as in the UK. A study was published in the UK that showed there's no difference if you keep the eggs in the fridge or at room temperature. So many residents save space in the refrigerator by leaving them out. Things are different in the United States, and the FDA recommends keeping eggs in the fridge. Some experts say that fresh eggs can remain at room temperature for a week or two as long as they weren't previously refrigerated. If you purchase your eggs at the grocery store, it's best to keep them in the fridge. Soy sauce Soy sauce will last for up to a year and a half at room temperature because it's fermented. The fermentation process makes the sauce delicious and helps it stay fresh longer. 
You can keep your soy sauce longer than a year and a half, but it may affect the flavor a bit. But it'll still be good to eat. As an added bonus, when you remove the soy sauce, you have more room in your refrigerator doors. Bananas Bananas hold on to their nutrients better at room temperature. So if you're eating bananas because they're healthy, keep them out in the open. Also, bananas will ripen faster when they're cold, and the moisture in the fridge can cause them to turn black or brown quickly. You can keep them on the counter or hang them from a banana hanger. If you want to keep the bananas for a long time, you can cut them up and freeze them, and they'll be great for banana smoothies. Chocolate Many people put their chocolate bars in the fridge because they like it cold, but it's not a good idea. The ideal temperature for chocolate is 65 to 68 degrees, and your fridge is much colder than that. If you live in a very warm part of the country or summers are very hot, you should keep the chocolate in the fridge to keep it from melting. But if possible, keep it out of the refrigerator. Cold temperatures can affect the taste of the chocolate, and room temperature is best. If you like your chocolate really cold, you can put it in the fridge an hour before eating and it won't lose its taste. Onions When you buy onions at the supermarket, you won't find them in the refrigerated section and they're kept at room temperatures. Stores do this because onions shouldn't be refrigerated. Like garlic, onions can get moldy when stored in the fridge, and room temperature is best. It's best to keep the onions in a dark area of the pantry, away from other foods. If you peeled an onion and didn't need the whole thing, the remaining part can be stored in an airtight container. Be sure to use it within a few days because it'll start to spoil. Jam Most people don't know this, but jam doesn't last longer when refrigerated. Jam is loaded with natural and artificial preservatives that allow it to stay fresh and last a while. You should also avoid contaminating the jam jar. For example, if you have any cheese with jam, using the same knife to cut the cheese and spread the jam will cause it to spoil faster. If you use a knife just for the jam, it'll last longer. Honey Honey is a natural preservative, so there's no need to store it in the fridge for it to last a long time. In fact, putting honey in the refrigerator can affect the honey. The cold air in the fridge will cause the honey to crystallize, affecting the taste and consistency. If your honey is in the fridge and is already crystallized, soaking it in warm water will dissolve the crystals and you can move it to the cupboard. Citrus Fruits Citrus fruits should be kept at room temperature because they'll ripen faster and taste sweeter. If the fruit isn't given enough time or space to ripen, it'll taste sour. It's best not to store oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits in the fridge, and the pantry is the best option. If you prefer cold citrus fruit, you can put it in the refrigerator an hour or two before eating and it'll still taste as sweet as ever. Tomatoes If you take one thing away from what you've learned, it should be about tomatoes. Tomatoes should never be refrigerated. Tomatoes are red, juicy, and full of flavor, and they'll quickly lose flavor, texture, and nutrients. If you want your tomatoes to taste their best, you should leave them in a bowl on the counter because they thrive in cool, airy, dry environments. The tomatoes are out in the open in the supermarket, so you should leave them out in the open. Avocados There are times when avocados should be stored on the counter and other times when they belong in the fridge. This may sound confusing, but it's actually very simple. If your avocados aren't ripe and you want them to ripen, keep them out of the refrigerator because the cold air will cause them to ripen slowly. In this case, keeping them in a bowl on the counter is best. If you aren't ready to eat your avocados yet and they're getting too ripe, put them in the fridge to slow down the ripening process. The last thing you want is a brown, mushy avocado and the cold air will keep them fresh longer. Olive oil Olive oil is the king of all oils and should always be stored in the pantry at room temperature. The cold air in the refrigerator will cause the oil to harden and the consistency will be similar to butter. Because olive oil is expensive, leaving it in the pantry is best, so you don't need to buy a new bottle to replace the original one. Many Salad Dressings Like avocados, the salad dressing rule can be complicated because some salad dressings must be refrigerated while others don't. Any salad dressing that contains dairy products such as ranch and blue cheese should be kept in the refrigerator because all dairy products must be refrigerated. Some people put Russian and French dressing in the fridge because they're creamy, but it isn't necessary. French dressing is a mixture of ketchup, oil, and vinegar that'll keep best at room temperature. The same is true with vinaigrette and Italian dressing because the oil will thicken in the same way olive oil will in the refrigerator. So it's best to store it in the pantry or cupboard. 
If you make your own vinaigrette and add garlic or lemon juice, it must be refrigerated and used within three days. Peppers Peppers are best stored at room temperature, and if you've been told to keep them in the fridge, it's just a myth. Although storing them in the refrigerator will help them last longer, the cold air will give the peppers a dull, flavorless taste. It's best to keep all kinds of peppers, including chili peppers, in a cool, dry place. Peanut butter Refrigerating peanut butter won't help it last longer, and it'll make it feel rock hard. If you want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, cold peanut butter will tear the bread. It's best to store peanut butter in the pantry or cupboard and store it upside down. When it's stored right side up, the liquids will separate from the solid body of the peanut butter and will rise to the top of the jar. Storing it upside down will force the oil to travel back through the peanut butter, mixing it in, and your peanut butter will be creamier.